Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Trinity Resting and yes, Resting is my real surname. Here it goes a little yeah. something like you. I hate this channel. No, no. So as you can tell by the title, as you can tell by the state of my hair. This is a hair tutorial video, baby. Come on. Finally, like Trinity, girl, we've been waiting for this tutorial forever. So I have listened to y'all, okay? As promised, I am here with the video you guys have been requesting. So I'm just here to wish you guys a good time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you gained some tips and tricks. And I hope this video is helpful to your hair routine. If you do end up trying this look, make sure to send me some pictures of your results on my Instagram. As usual, my Instagram is linked in the description box down below. And here is a picture of my Instagram, just in case y'all forgot what my Instagram name is. I'll put it right here as well. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Okay guys, so I'm starting off with my hair freshly washed. Um, yeah, I didn't show you guys washing my hair because I've already filmed um, like an updated wash day routine on my channel. So if you want to know like my whole wash day process and how I got to this point where I am right now, then make sure you click the link. I think it's on this side. I really hope so. But make sure you click the link right here um, to see my wash day. But yeah, I'm starting with my hair freshly washed. Um, and it's currently in like these twists. And I'll show you. So I put them into all these like little twists so that it's easier for me to manage. And I wash my hair in twists anyway. So it just makes the whole process a lot easier. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and moisturize my hair. So the hair dryer that I'm using today is actually new. It's the Revlon paddle brush hair dryer thing. I have no idea what it's called. Hold on, I've got the box. Okay, here's the box. So it's the Revlon Power of a Dryer Precision of a Styler. I used it once before and honestly guys, this is probably one of the best investments that I've made for my hair because it literally cuts the blow drying time in half for me. So this, 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 if you're, I feel like if you're a type 4 girl and you usually use like a hair dryer and a paddle brush to blow dry your hair, this is literally all in one. First of all, my arms don't get as tired and it cuts the time in half, literally. Um, but yeah, this is really good. So this is what I'm going to be using today. So for now, I'm going to start off by like sectioning up my hair. Luckily, my hair is already in twists, as you can see. So I'm just going to start off on one side of my hair. And I want to keep the section that I'm not using kind of damp because I feel like my hair blow dries the best when it's still a bit wet. So I'm going to be putting just a shower cap on half of my head if it stays on, hopefully. Um, and yeah, I'm going to start off with the one section in the back. Okay, I look crazy, but yeah, I've sectioned all my hair and left out the one section I'm going to be starting with. So I'm going to go ahead and moisturize this section. So yeah, as usual, if you're not new to my channel, you know that I always use these products. Nothing has changed. I'm using the 4C only leave-in conditioner as well as the 4C only Too Slick Styling Cream. And I'm also going to be using a heat protectant. So this is the Tresemme Heat Defense Spray. So yeah, I've used this before. Honestly, it's not my favorite. It, I think it has alcohol in it and I can definitely feel that on my hair. I don't know if it is alcohol, but it doesn't. It kind of makes my hair feel a little dry, but I don't have any alternative at the moment. So this is what I'm going to be using because I do not want heat damage. I do not want heat damage. I don't want my hair to feel too weighed down So I'm not gonna be putting in too much product just enough so that it's Moisturized and doesn't feel too dry once it's being blow-dried, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the leave-in conditioner And then I'm gonna go in with the tiniest bit of this um styling cream just because it's really thick and then i'm gonna go ahead and put on the heat protectant and 
Okay, so now I'm gonna start the blow drying process and I'm gonna use the blow dryer on the cool setting. So it has a cool low and high setting, so I'm gonna use the cool setting. One thing I did notice about this hair dryer though is it is so loud, like it is super loud. So yeah, while I'm blow drying, I'm gonna cut the sound so you guys do not have to go through that and I'll put in some nice music for you guys to vibe to while I do this section of my hair. But yeah, I just wanna show you guys like how easy this blow dryer is gonna be to blow dry this section. Like y'all are gonna see, it is amazing. <laughs> Okay, so the first section is blown out. I didn't blow it out completely straight just because I'm gonna be putting it into bantu knots anyways so yeah I just wanted it to be stretched a little bit so yeah but if I'm honest for the rest of the sections I don't think I'm gonna be using the heat protector firstly because I blow dry my hair on the cool setting anyway so the air that's coming out of the hair dryer is really not hot at all and like I said I don't I really really don't like how this makes my hair feel and right now I can feel it like my hair feels super dry and almost sticky like you can see how my ends are kind of sticking together so i think for the rest of my hair i'm not going to use the heat protectant just so that my hair feels a little nicer and doesn't feel as dry um but yeah i'm going to continue with the leave-in conditioner and the styling cream so yeah i'm going to go ahead and speed through the rest of my hair and get it all blow dried out so then we can start the styling process but yeah yeah, we give thanks like we need it the most We have to give thanks like we really supposed to be thankful Blessings all for my life and My thank God for the journey, the earnings I just for the plus My gratitude is a must Yeah, me see blessings fall by my right hand What's that was for the friends when they call for the Lord one Guys, tell me why I'm in the middle of blow drying the last section of this half of my hair right the front section tell me why this blow hold on revelon because you need to hear this tell me why this thing started sparking i saw sparks sparks and it started smoking so i unplugged it i switched it off because i was like i don't want to die right now i was like i do not want to die right now um so I switched it off and I let it like cool down. I thought maybe it's too hot. So I let it I let it air air out a little bit, you know, cool down. Tell me why I try to plug it in again and switch it on again. And like why doesn't it work? Revlon. I love you guys. I do, but what is this? Guys, when I tell you this is literally, it is my second time using this, and now it's broken. I don't know what happened, I don't know if the circuit burnt out, like, I don't know. Revlon, do better. Anyways guys, after that scandal, like I said, I'm gonna have to go back to the traditional route of using my blow dryer and a normal paddle brush. <sighs> But yeah, I'm gonna get started and try to get through it as quick as possible because I do have school tomorrow at 8 in the morning. So yeah, I do want to finish this as fast as I can because I still have to put them into bantu knots before I go to bed. But yeah, I'm gonna let you guys watch me do the rest of my hair using the normal blow dryer and paddle brush method. Actually, I have no idea if it's gonna have like the same results or what, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna be putting them into bantu knots like I said. So yeah, let me get started. Okay guys, so I've just finished blow drying my entire head and I put them into like these little twists just to make sure that they stay stretched and don't shrink so yeah I'm just gonna section my hair in half and then I'm gonna start with I think one or two sections in the back 
because I want to do like medium bantu knots i don't want to make them too small because i've tried this look before because the first time i did this look i made them way too small and like it, firstly it took me way too long to do and secondly it was super super uncomfortable to sleep in um and then the second time i tried this look i did it with medium size bantu knots which was like the perfect size it was super comfortable to sleep in it didn't take me very long at all and there was still enough definition there um so yeah i'm gonna try to maybe do like medium size sections so starting with maybe something about this size for each bantu knot i think that should work to give me like the definition that i need okay so i have my first section out in the back but honestly i think i'm gonna split this section into two so i'm just gonna detangle this section and then i'm gonna be taking a little bit of the leave-in conditioner and just putting it on my hair and a little bit on my ends okay and then i'm gonna start my bantu knot so what I realized with this is you want to start it a little bit far from the roots like you want to start twisting a little far from the roots as you can see I have some space from my roots to where I started to twist but because like as you continue twisting it's gonna get tighter and tighter and tighter so the way to sleep comfortably is to make sure that this is not too tight and then just twist 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 and then I start wrapping my bantu knot. Okay, so there's my first knot. I know it's a bit hard to see right now because it's in the back. So when I get to the front, I'm going to be showing you guys more in depth and a clearer view of what I'm doing and exactly how I'm wrapping the bantu knots. I'm not a professional at bantu knot outs. This is the second time I'm doing bantu knots. So please don't judge my skills like I'm still learning as I go but yeah just thought I should share so I'm gonna go ahead and do the back portion of my head and then I'm gonna come back when I get to the front of my head so that I can show you guys a clearer view and like explain to you guys a little bit more in depth of what I'm doing okay so now that I'm at the front of my hair I'm gonna show you guys a more zoomed in or clearer demonstration of how I do it so like I said, I like to start twisting my hair like quite far from the root um, just so that you know it's not too tight when I sleep. So yeah, I'm just gonna start off by twisting the hair and I'm not braiding it. I'm literally just twisting it and twisting it until it looks like a rope kind of, I guess. And then I'm just gonna hold it here at the base and start looping it like around itself like this and then go underneath the first loop this is really hard to explain <laughs> like i hope you guys can like kind of see what i'm doing then if you feel like it's getting too tight you kind of just twist it in the opposite direction and then loop it underneath okay then when i get to the end i'm just gonna like comb out my ends because they're a little crusty if i'm honest just so it's a little smooth twist it and then yeah finish off the bantu knot by looping it underneath looping it there you go just like that you have a bantu knot then i like to secure it with I don't have any like really small hair ties so I just secure it with a regular hair tie if, if you have small ones it's probably better but to me they all work the same okay then I just literally secure the bantu knot with the hair tie just so that while I'm sleeping it doesn't unravel and boom there you go now it's nice and secure also like to like twist it at the base just to make sure it's flexible and I can sleep on it so that it's not too tight and yeah okay guys so I've just finished doing all my bantu knots uh, I'm gonna show you the back yeah so this is what they look like keep in mind I have no idea what it looks like in the back it probably looks super messy I didn't pay any attention to parking or anything like that but yeah this is what it looks like in the back just to get a general idea of the size um, I 
yeah i think i definitely have more on this side of my head than i do on this side but that's okay then of course i have my bonnet i actually got this new reversible bonnet it's really pretty and i got it from shein so if you guys have been looking for like affordable bonnets shein has really really good quality bonnets and like it has an adjustable like elastic here so like Really giving, uh, and I think it was like $3 or something. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, and then this is usually just how I go to bed, and then I just obviously tighten it so it fits well. And then, yeah, I'm gonna come back tomorrow and do these panty knots and show you guys the final result. Okay, so it's the next day. Um, I just let these in, as you can see, they're kind of like shifted. They're a lot looser than they were, but that's fine. I'm hoping they're still gonna come out this night. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just gonna like take off all the little um, scrunchies that I have on them, and then we can begin to separate like each curl individually. Okay, so I've just taken out all the scrunchies. I have quite a few. Um, but yeah, so the next step that I do is start separating the curls, obviously. Um, and I just take some oil and put it on my fingertips. And this is just going to reduce any frizz that may be caused while I take down like each bantu knot. Now I'm carefully just going to unravel it from the ends. And just unravel it like this out of the bantu knot. And then this is what it looks like. And yeah, I'm just gonna do that to all of them. Okay, so I've just unraveled most of the curls on this side of my head. I'm gonna leave this top one, if you can see it. I'm gonna leave this one for last, just because it's my bangs and I like my bangs to be a little bit more defined so i always do them last i don't know why but yeah now i'm gonna start the separation process and i just put a little more oil on my fingers and i'm gonna carefully begin to separate where the curls naturally separate i'm gonna zoom you guys in again so you can see okay so as you can see there it's naturally trying to separate so that's where i'm gonna pull it apart from so i'm just gonna carefully do this side looks like when it's been like freshly separated i haven't yet picked it or styled it or anything so it still kind of looks really bouncy and super defined i'm not gonna start on this side and do the very same process so yeah i'm gonna speed through this part because you guys have already seen how i do this <laughs> Okay, so now I've just finished unraveling this side as well and again, I haven't styled it or anything So now I'm just gonna move on to my bangs. I'm putting a bit more oil on so this is what it looks like freshly separated without being picked or styled and yeah as you can see there's not much shape it's kind of a little bit flat and you know there's not enough life for me so what i like to do is pick my hair but i like a lot more volume and i kind of want my hair a little bit more stretched because it is quite shrunken up right now like as you can see the curls are above my shoulders whereas i kind of want them a little longer so what i like to do is i actually separate my hair in the back into two 
and then I separate that two into four like this get that out of the way so you guys can see so I then just take this back section and pull it down and then I just band it so I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see so I get the hairband and I just do the banding method to stretch it out and I leave the ends how they are and then I do the same for this front section but I leave out my bang so I leave out about this much and then I'm just gonna band this section as well there you go and then I just do the same thing on the other side okay so now I've banded each section and I look I look a little bit crazy, but that's okay, okay, that's okay, this is a process, it's a process. So I'm gonna leave my hair banded like this for about an hour while I eat lunch, and then I'll come back to you guys and show you the final result. Okay, so I am back, it's been about an hour, and I ended up clipping my bangs behind my ears just with a bobby pin just because they were getting in the way of me being able to see you know so i clipped them back so yeah i'm about to unravel these bands i'm sorry if the lighting is changing a lot the sun it started off really sunny today and now it's cloudy so the sun is in and out so please excuse the lighting but yeah i'm about to unravel these bands and show you guys how i style my hair okay so now this is what my hair looks like it's definitely stretched a lot more obviously if i left it in the bands longer it would have stretched even more but yeah i don't have much time to leave it in the bands today so right now it's still a bit flat so all that's left for me to do is pick it out to get a little bit of volume in my roots and yeah so i'm just gonna pick it out now i have my pick here so i'm just gonna go into my roots and like pick out the places where i want it to be more voluminous <laughs> Okay, so we are back. It's actually been a couple of hours since I last saw you guys and I was picking up my hair because I actually had a Zoom meeting scheduled which I completely forgot about and that took a few hours. So I did continue picking up my hair and I separated the curls to a point where I like it. I think I mentioned before that I'm more of a volume girl and not so much a definition girl. So I literally picked my hair out as big as I could. Obviously, if you guys like the hair, before it was picked out if you liked a more defined look you could have just left it there but i like it like this so yeah i wanted to come and show you guys the final results on how my hair looks so yeah this is how it looks <laughs> Throughout the week my hair does lose more definition and does tend to get bigger which again I do not mind at all I actually like my hair the most towards the end of the week when wash day is approaching so yeah that is the end of this week's video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you enjoy the way my hair turned out I hope you guys can try this look yourself thank you guys so much for tuning into this week's video I love you guys so much and I'm always grateful for your support don't forget to like subscribe and click that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video and of course I will see you guys next time bye <laughs>